Um, all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and run those samples. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the top of the list here and we're gonna take our regular C18 method. This is just our positive mode, 105 to 1250 positive mode C18 method. Uh, it's the full range C18 that we showed before. We're gonna copy that, come down to the bottom of the list, and I like to do the paste after, so I leave that space in the lane. Then I'm gonna go ahead and name this today's date, and then we're gonna call it BKATS1, that's who I am, and then we're gonna do a blank. And I keep a universal blank, this is good to know. In position one, plate one, position one, I put a universal blank of water, one mil of water, in a clean tube with no caps, that everybody could use the same blank, and then I make a new one every day. Um, and, and that's a better way to do a blank than having everybody put their own blanks on, just know that position one, one is reserved for a blank, and I like to do 10 microliters for my blank. Then I'm gonna go ahead and fill this down, fill down, and then I'm in positions, what was it, 18 and 19 did I say? It was a 17 and 18. 17 and 18, okay. Um, we gotta check it, double check it in a second. 17 and 18, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run 17 position twice, and we're gonna name this, this was the Yerba Mate, Yerba Mate, I probably spelled that wrong, sugar, and this is a positive mode method, one, right? Then I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna paste it again after, and I'm gonna do my negative mode method. The negative mode method is the same LC method, but instead of a five minute positive mode method, we're doing a five minute negative mode method across the same mass range. And then we're gonna make both of these five uh, microliters. Uh, let me just double check the position. Yeah, so it's in 17, 18, that's what I have. Yep. So 17 is correct, okay? And so those are these two, and then I'm also doing a zero sugar, which you just do a 10x dilution of the zero sugar energy drink, just run it directly. And that's in position 18. Again, we're doing both positive mode and negative mode for this one. And this was C4 zero sugar. And this is gonna be the positive mode data, right? And you can copy these and paste the names, save yourself some time and then negative one, and then we're gonna put blanks. I like to copy the blank that I wrote initially, then go to the lane where I want the blank and paste it after, so it inserts the blank. And the same thing here. And then remember, you always have to have a new file name. You can't use the same file name twice or it will oversave your data. So then I'll put a little A and a little B right there. And then we're all set up, ready to go. Remember, five microliters for the sample injection, so everything's the same. And so now we're gonna compare you know, the, uh, the sugar energy drink, since we precipitated in acetonitrile, is 50% uh, acetonitrile water, where the zero sugar energy drink is 0% acetonitrile. It's just diluted directly into water. And so what we're trying to test is, uh, does the 50% acetonitrile affect how things stick to the front of the column? And so we'll use the caffeine peak to determine if we have any chromatography shift uh, once we run these. So uh, we'll go ahead and run these by hitting play, so highlight the whole thing. I like to highlight it and run the first one by itself, actually. And then if that looks good, I'll go ahead and run the next part. Since we have that startup protocol, it should just turn itself on automatically. And then I'll send the next part. And then I'll send the next part. And so they're kind of all in separate queues. And the reason I do that is if something messes up, it's easier to delete a queue that isn't running, then to delete one that's in the middle of running because that causes a lot more instrument stress. All right? All right, we'll wait for the data here.